Hello everyone, it's Shell C from Paper Octio Studio and today I'm sharing with you my Tag It Tuesday Facebook group challenge for the month of August 2018. Um, this is to make an altered shipping tag or some type of an altered tag or an ATC and she has four prompts and you have to use at least two of them. I usually just use all of them because I'm used to using a lot of prompts. So. <laughs> The first thing I did was to get out one of my tags that has some, um, when I was in last April, when I did jelly printing every day, if I had leftover bits and bobs, I put them on these shipping tags because I was making shipping tag flip book for all the techniques anyway. And I have some really cool looking ones that just have some, you know, leftover paint on them. So I, I'm using one of those and it has some pink and black and purpley colors on it. And step one was dots. And so I just simply stenciled um, using the pomegranate seed stencil. It's a, it's a balls or designs, but hopefully it's still in production and I can look it up for you. If not, it's maybe discontinued. But um, I stenciled that using some plain old black paint and one of my new stencil brushes, which are really makeup brushes. <laughs> The next thing, um, the next prompt was to use gauze or cheesecloth. I didn't have any gauze or cheesecloth, but I have these baby wipes that are pretty much dried out and they are basically very similar to something like that. They're just, they're flimsy and thin and, and when I pull on them, they turn into something that looks kind of like those um, Halloween webs that you can buy. I think I could make webs, fake webs out of these baby wipes. They're from the dollar store and I won't buy them again, but you know, eh, whatever. The third prompt was sprays and mists. And so I got out my spray box, which um, I have created so that I can stop spraying everything on my desk every time. It's just a three-sided box lined with some um, waxy paper. <clears throat> it's called freezer paper. And I just put I just put a deli sheet in the bottom, and then um, I can spray in there, and I won't get a ridiculous amount of spray everywhere, like you do. <laughs> so I used a purplish gray, a bright pink, and a black in the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mists. Um, these are from Canvas Court Brands Tattered Angels, and so I sprayed them on my web with the idea that they were gonna kind of like go in between the fibers and look really cool um, and, you know, kind of drippy or whatever. But that didn't really happen the way exactly the way I wanted. I guess I filled up too much of the spaces when I was using my matte medium to apply this um, gauzy stuff over the tag. So it didn't work out exactly as I wanted and I had to do some more steps to make it look a little bit better. But before I did that, I have these pieces of mica which were given to me by a, a person who views my channel. She sent them to me as Happy Mail and they she picks them up as she's hiking. And they're like the actual mica, just like apparently on the hiking trails or whatever, she's, she finds these. And she did send me a nice pair of gloves and a, a face mask to work with them, but I was just gonna spray them and I didn't think, you know, I didn't think it was that big a deal. So I just sprayed them with those same colors of Glimmer Mist and I'm going to apply them to the tag as part of my composition. This, of course, isn't one of the steps. It's just like something in between. And to make my uh, gauzy stuff stand out a little bit better, I got some silver um, PBO Dyna iridescent paint and did like kind of a dry brushing over it. Still doesn't, doesn't do exactly what I want, but it's better. Then I'm going to um, use the next prompt which is bead or bead gel and I'm going to use my bead gel as an adhesive to attach my mica pieces and then of course the beads will show up around the edges once it's dry. This stuff comes out white and it it dries to clear and then it has these little beads in it that are clear glass and they're kind of sparkly. It's pretty fun stuff. It's it's a medium that's made by you know different companies like like this one's Liquitex and Golden also makes it and so I apply all my mica pieces and then I think I'm going to apply a few other things and I have these like 
clear raindrop things that someone sent me. And then I also have these pieces which are, um, they're resin. Whenever I pour resin over the top of a piece to seal it, I've only done this a couple times, but you know, it drips. It runs off the edges and it drips because it's self, um, self leveling. And so I do it on top of a, a nonstick mat, you know, a craft mat, and then I just peel them up and I have them. So I decided to put some of those little doohickeys on there too using the bead gel. And I figured they would dry clear and shiny with the beads like trapped underneath them and it might look kind of interesting, which it does. Um, this tag is one of those ones that in person looks way better than on video or even stills. Um, you know, the, the photos usually look better because they're a higher resolution, but even so it's, that's, it's, it's, stun, it's a stunner in person. And I just, I can't convey what it looks like here as well as I would like to. I think maybe that's because of the dark colors and I don't know. Anyway. I also add a few little white beads um, that are from one of these um, buttons and buttons galore or buttons and more galore, whatever company um, that makes those little bead kits that you've seen me use before on my channel. Um, I got them at CHA last year. So then I needed a focal point and on Art Joy of Sharing live stream last week, we were messing around with metal and I had cut some pieces of tin can, like soda can, and um, a couple of them are die cut with a butterfly, and then I ran them through one of those embossing folders. And then this one, I made a 3D star, and I decided that that looked really cool on there. And in fact, the whole thing reminded me of like the birth of a star where, you know, every, all the matter explodes and everything is, you know, going out into the universe on the black background and um, then boom you have a star that was kind of the concept so it can't kind of became this whole tag about the birth of a star in the galaxy and all that um, this piece has been embossed uh, and is it is concave so I needed something to be able to stick it down with so I put some dimensional foam dots a couple layers of them in three spots because I knew one of them was going to hang off so there was no point in putting it on that one. I figured attaching it in three spots would be enough. And then I put some matte medium, gel matte medium on there and then I stuck it down and then I had to let it dry. Um, none of this stuff is dry. Everything is still very wet. So I stack a couple things on top of there to keep it down against the tag and I let it dry overnight. And when I come back, this is what it looks like. It's sparkly and um, dimensional and interesting. But you can't really see it that much on the video. So I decided to back it with a piece of black cardstock because I don't, you know, whenever I do alter tags, I like to have a border around them. And so I often will, will back them with a piece of cardstock that's just slightly larger. And then I add some fibers, of course, um, a piece of recycled sari silk ribbon, some eyelash fiber, and some kind of a velour fiber in the same colors as the tag. And that pretty much finishes it, except for I think I put some, some uh, words on there. So if you enjoyed this video, of course, uh, here's the thing. <laughs> Make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want, leave a comment below or a question, and I'll be sure to answer you. And um, subscribe if you haven't already. Our channel's still growing, and it's very exciting. So turn on those notification bells so that you know that the, there's a new, fresh video out for you pretty much every other day, sometimes every third day. And, of course, if you know somebody who wants to see this Galaxy Birth of a Star tag or they love stars, share it pin it on Pinterest, share it on Facebook, something like that. So I did end up trimming that one edge off because it was very pokey and it went out beyond the edge of the tag and it would stab someone. <laughs> it's pretty sharp. So I just gave it a little trim and it's not as sharp now because it's not pointed anymore. And then these word stickers are from the big chat. Um, sticker pack from Tim Holtz Ranger 
and I put perfect moment because that's like, you know, the perfect moment when everything explodes and a star is born. So that is it for me for Tag It Tuesday, August. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.